Hello everyone, my name is Tsepo and welcome back to Nintel Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson which was Joy Cycle, Power Machines and Six. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise that I've taken from my test book and it reads as follows. An oil engine takes in air at 101 kilopascal. 20 degrees Celsius and the maximum cycle pressure is 6,900 kilopascal. The compression ratio is 18 is to 1. Calculate the air standard thermal efficiency based on the joule combustion cycle. Assume that the heat added at constant volume is equals to the heat added at constant pressure. Specific heat capacity at constant volume is equals to 0.718 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and specific heat capacity at constant pressure it's equals to 1.005 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and this is the information that we are given we are working with a joule cycle we are given pressure number one we are told about the highest pressure and we know it is going to be point number three which is equals to point number four therefore point three and point four are having the same pressure we are given the compression ratio which we know it's v1 divided by v2 this is the same as saying 18 divided by one and since we do not have any value of volume we are going to put the ratios here and we know that v1 it's equals to v5 and v2 it's equals to v3 that's why we are having 18 both at the first column and the last column first row and a last row sorry and then we are also having the, the the same number at 3 and 2 now we are told that the heat that is added at the first phase of combustion which is when combustion is taking place at constant volume it's a cost to the heat that will be added at the second phase of the combustion where now combustion will be taking place at constant pressure we are given the specific heat capacity at constant pressure and we are also given the specific heat capacity at constant volume they are asking us to calculate for the air standard thermal efficiency which is the air thermal efficiency and we know that the formula of efficiency is given by t5 minus t1 divided at 1 divided by t3 minus t2 plus gamma in bracket t4 minus t3 for us to be able to calculate the air standard efficiency, we need all the temperatures. Temperature number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We only have one in the column, which is what we are given. So before we come here, let's try to complete this table. We will erase this and start with what we are given. We'll start with column 1 and 2, which is from here to here, adiabatic. And we will start with what we are given. We will start with P1, V1, raised to gamma. It's equals to P2, V2, raised to gamma. We do not have the value of gamma, but we know that gamma is equals to Cp divided by Cv, which we have, 1 and 2. We will say 0 1.005 divided by 0 0.718 which will give us 1.4 if I am not mistaken yes give us our gamma as 1.4 erase this and then we have this the only thing that we do not have here is the P2 which is this one we are looking for P2 therefore we make it the subject of the formula which will give us P1 in bracket V1 divided by V2 raised to gamma P1, 101. This is equals to the compression ratio, which is 18 raised to gamma 
this will give us our value of P2 L. I'm going to put it on the table as 577 7.007 that is P2 then from here we continue we are going now to calculate for T1 T2 rather and we are going to use the formula T2 divided by T1 is equals to V1 divided by V2 raised to gamma minus 1 we are looking for this we make it the subject of the formula and T1 is equals to 293 times this is the compression ratio which will be 18 raised to 1.4 minus 1 and this will give us the value of T2 as 931.058 we are going it's Kelvin we are going to put it here Nine three one point zero five eight. We continue. We come to this column number uh, row number three. We are going to use one, two, and three for us to be able to get temperature number three. And we are going to say raise this. PV two two divided by T two is equals to P three V three divided by T three. This is constant volume we know. Therefore, this we are going to cancel. We are we are looking for T three. We make it the subject of the formula, and we get that it is T two times P3 divided by P2 we substitute T2 it's 931.058 times P3 our P3 is this one 96900 divided by P2 5777.0 Zero seven, and then we calculate our T three and get that our answer is one 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 two point zero four six Kelvin, and then we put it here. It's one 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 two point zero four six Kelvin, and then from here we want to calculate for our T4 let's erase this if we want to calculate for our our temperature number 4 we have to use this side or this side we do not have any information at 5 we, we barely have information we only have this A thing so we cannot use this side we have to use this side and this side we can say PV 3 divided by T3 is equal to P3 V3 divided by T3. It is constant pressure. Now, we do not have the volume at T4, at 4. This is 4. We do not have the volume, we also do not have the temperature. So it's impossible for us to use this formula for now. We are going to turn our eyes to this condition that they gave us here they said the heat that is added here is equal to the heat that is added here let's try to get the heat energy add, that is added from 2 to 3 since 2 and 3 is what we have information of we are going to say Q in add 3 to 2 to 3 as equals to m times specific capacity here combustion takes place at constant volume we are going to use 
the specific capacity at constant volume times the temperature change which will be T3 minus T2 1 times specific capacity constant volume is 0 0.718 times the temperature change T3 1 1 1 2.046 minus T2 9 3 1.058 this will give us our um, heat added as 129.949 kilojoules per kg. We used 1 kg. Now, we know that this is equals to this. We say our Q in from 3 to 4 is equal to m times specific capacity at constant pressure this is the second phase of combustion combustion is taking place at constant pressure times the change in temperature which will be from 3 to 4 and it will be t4 minus t3 this is what we are looking for now we substitute we get that this we already know mass or we use one specific capacity at constant pressure is zero point it's one point zero zero five times this is what we are looking for minus t3 we have one 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 two point zero four six and then we solve for the only unknown on the equation which is our t4 and i got that my t4 is equals to 1 t4 is equals to 1241.348 kelvin and we're going to put it here 1241.348 kelvin and now let's try to get the value of the ratio or the volume ratio at v4 this space here let's erase this we are going to use three and four three four it's constant pressure which will be p v It's P three V three divided by T three. It's equal to P four V four divided by T four. It's constant pressure. Therefore, we cancel these ones. We are looking for V four. This is our V four. We make it the subject of the formula, and we get that it is V. Let's say T. 4 times v3 divided by t3 and here we are going to say our t4 we have 1 2 4 1 0.348 times our v3 v3 the value is 1 t3 it's 1000 112.046 and then we get that our v4 is equals to 1.116 it's a ratio therefore we are not having any si unit here it's 1 1.116 and then now we can calculate for the only temperature that we do not have since we needed all the temperatures to calculate for the air standard efficiency remember we are doing all this for us to be able to calculate the air standard efficiency now we are going to use t5 divided by t4 that's equals to v4 divided by v5 raised to gamma minus 1 Remember now we are dealing with four 
and 5 where it's PV raised to gamma is equals to C and this formula it's within the law of the adiabatic it's within the adiabatic law and we are saying this is what we are looking for therefore we are making the subject of the formula T4 it's 1241 the point three four eight times this which is our v4 it's 1.116 divided by v5 it's 18 gamma it's 1.4 minus 1 and this will give us our temperature t5 is 408 now we have everything we have every temperature that we need to calculate for the air thermal air standard efficiency and this is what we are going to do the air standard efficiency that equals to t5 minus t1 it's one uh, minus and then t3 minus t2 plus gamma t4 minus t3 it's 1 minus what's our t5 it's 408 I didn't write the whole thing here sorry it's 408.179 And then we we'll continue on this side minus T1, which is 293. T3, 1112.046 minus T2, 931.058 plus gamma, 1.5. I'm going to continue on this side. And it will be like this. Let me erase this. I need the space. I need the space. I don't need the pressure so, so I can erase this. T4. This is our number 4. 1241.348 minus T3 1112.046. Which will give us our air standard efficiency as 0 0.682, which we will say times 100 because we need it in percent, which will be 68.2 percent. And that is how we go about answering this question. I will see you on the next lesson.